What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. I wanted to uh, show you all real quick uh, my current Terabilis tadpole status um, and where we are with everything. As you can see we're not in front of the community tank but we are in fact downstairs and that's because we only have one tadpole left in the community tank that has yet to pop his front legs. So, I wanted to show you um, a couple of froglets that I've uh, fished out of the community tank and placed in their own individual cups and uh, have them tilted to the side here so that they can crawl out when they are ready. And in fact, this one back here was just out of the water before I started filming, so I'm going to go ahead and move him here shortly to the grow out. Speaking of the grow out, here it is right here. One of the grow outs anyway. Uh, this is the early stage one and if you want to check out the video on how to put one of those together, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, but I made that one oh, a couple weeks ago I think. Short little video, very simple setup. There's probably at least 15 uh, little ones in there hanging out under the leaf litter as they absorb their tails and I've actually seen a few hop around that have already uh, absorbed those so and I just added a few springtails uh, this morning a few more springtails I should say as more and more of the ones in there as they finish absorbing the tails are going to start uh, looking and foraging for food so I'm going to make sure I'm constantly adding springtails to that and then over here is the Gonna be the main grow out. Sorry for terrible reflection. Um, we'll add a few more plants, probably a few more clippings. Just the uh, the OG frog. What's in there right now? He's been doing good, uh, hopping around, eating springtails as well. So yeah, this is just uh, my simple setup I have going right now uh, for the froglets. Um, you know, as they pop their front legs, I'm fishing them out of there. I got a video on that as well, showing me uh, grabbing these two guys right here. And then I just bring the cups downstairs, uh, tilt it at the angle. I just use random stuff to kind of prop them up. Nothing really fancy about it. Um, and then as they crawl out, just dump them right on in. And uh, just have them sitting on this old dresser right now that I used to hold uh, various items and whatnot. There's some of my uh, fruit fly culturing uh, supplies, coffee filters. Oh, uh, had some old bean beetle cultures in here. Uh, nothing going right now. Random odds and ends. A bunch of petri dishes there. Uh, let's see. And I got this janky scrap uh, top here from some of my other builds. Um, might get something more official later on, but it's serving its purpose right now. And I just rest isopod cultures on it, making sure because it warps a little bit. Making sure there's no gaps, keep the humidity in, and escapees where they belong. Potential escapees, I should say. Uh, my main springtail cultures there. Going pretty good. Bunch in that one. That's doing all right. dumped a bunch out of this one into the grow out so let that one recoup a little bit but yeah that's the uh, froglet setup thanks for watching everybody take care